This is B class number four. We started with C again. We did follow up the log tonight. So starting with kick on eight with your right foot, then step behind, step side, step front. Kick with your left, back, side, front. We want this to have the illusion of actually falling off of the log, but we want to make sure that our weight is always over our feet all the time. So, um, so our momentum is moving in, in away from the kick, but um, you want to make sure you are still on the front part of your foot. Um, you can style it in lots of different ways. You can do the arms like this. Um, I told you I would show you the ins and outs with the feet. Um, it's, it's kind of similar to 20s um, footwork if you've done that, like with your 20s Carlton. Um, it looks like this, eight, one, two, three, in, out, in. So if I can slow it down, kick, in, out, in, in, out, in. Um, it's a variation, um, but it's a pretty traditional one. So if you want to practice something like that, it's always good to like hold onto the back of a chair or the back of a couch or something and doing it super slowly so that you can do it without having to like hold your balance up for this for the whole time. Um, so we did three sets of eight. So yeah, tacked on to the end. It came right after the, these crosses. And that's it. That's it. And we tacked on something else tonight. So we work out something else a whole bunch and then we challenge you to put it into your dancing instead of say a six cal basic or close. So swing outs, couple of review pointers. Mm -hmm. Starting from close position. Leaves, you're coming right in front. Follows, you're hanging back in the leaves hand here, okay? We're just setting up this nice linear swing out. Swing it on out. Whenever we go to this open position, you wanna go all the way follows to the end of the line. End of the line should be your shoulders are still in a normal position. Elbows still bent, there's a little stretch between us. We set up the next swing out, which is, I'm moving my body back, Jen is coming forward. Hopefully she feels the impulse to come a little bit forward. Here, we wanna make sure that we're squaring up. So follows, as you come around, your arm is staying in front of you. You should naturally just wanna square up to your partner here. If you didn't square up, your arm would fall behind you here, right? Boom, see how Jen's arm is here? So if you keep your arm in front of you, have that nice And frame. also your, your torso will be yep. right into your partner's arm. This is an awkward position and one that you can avoid. Yes, so one, two, three, and four, five. We also talked about how leads are getting off the line of travel for the follow to stay in this nice linear path. So I'm stepping off, right? I'm coming here, stepping off. The Jen can just go for it, stepping off. Then we did the Lindy Circle. We did a one, two, three, and four, five, six, just keeping that momentum going right around in a circle. And the first four counts of that circle are the same as a regular swing out from open. Um, leads you're not changing or making it circular until you get in front of the follow. So we did a bunch of swing out practice tonight. Then what we said was, as you're dancing the things we've been working on the last few weeks, making your sixes in eight counts, so say that you, you know, put in an eight count, and maybe another. From wherever you end up in closed position, go right into a swing out. Resist the impulse to do six count basics right now, right? So here we are, um, et cetera. You don't need to see us doing that over and over, but um, sometimes it can just be in moving from the A to the B level class, the impulse is to do a lot of those six count basics from closed. It's so much more fun and dynamic to put in swing outs, plus we need to practice them more. Mm -hmm. We're working on. That's it. Swing out workshop. Yeah. And Saturday with Becca and Krista. Keep working on those swing outs. Yeah. Have you guys. Good job. No flies tonight. No flies on us. <laughs>